Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a testing new drugstore makeup video. Um, I was gonna do these by brands, but then I felt like that would take forever, so I'm kind of mixing and matching, but trying to keep most brands together. So, the big focus on today's video is gonna be all the new Wet n Wild goodies, but if I have more new drugstore makeup to test out, I'm gonna throw it in here as well. I'm gonna be doing a lot of drugstore videos for the next couple of weeks. Really trying these products out since usually right after Christmas is when all the new drugstore stuff launches for 2021. It's always a big time <laughs> that I like to stock up and try out all the new stuff and I feel like this year they have so many like really cool looking things. Like I've been more excited about drugstore makeup this year than ever. I also posted a giant drugstore haul shop with me video the other day which I'll link it down below. I'm not sure exactly when I'm uploading this but I will have that linked as well if you guys want to see more new stuff but let's go ahead and get into the video. So I have these two new Wet n Wild palettes to try out. I've been trying to decide which one I want to do. Um, we have the Call Me Sunshine Golden one and also the Lights Off which I'm kind of loving these cool tones. These are available right now on the Wet n Wild website only, but I picked mine up at Walmart stores if you guys are looking for them, but I will link them down below. They have 10 pans and they also have some mini palettes, but I like the color scheme better in these, so I just picked up a couple to try. This is the Color Me Sunshine palette that we are gonna be playing with today, just basic gold tones. All right, into this palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take this medium brown tone in the crease. That one is actually very pigmented, more than I was expecting. I've definitely played with a few Wet n Wild eyeshadows, and it's not my favorite formula always, but this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna go into this deep brown in the corner and put this in the outer corner of my eye. Now this one, I wouldn't say is quite as pigmented, um, this one's a bit lighter, but it does build up and it does blend out nicely. I'm going to take a little bit of this like dark, it's like a dirty gold is how I would describe it, and put this on my lower lash line. I added a little bit of water to see if it would apply better because I'm not loving it on its own. I think this would be a really pretty shimmer topper for the lid, but I don't know, it kind of looks almost flaky. I don't know if it's my favorite for the lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and wet this brush here. And I'm very much drawn to this color here. So we're going to try this on the lid. It looks chunky, so I don't know how well it's going to be with this brush. Yeah, that did not go on with the brush at all. We're going to try the finger. Okay, that's better. The consistency does feel a little bit thin, but it definitely works best with your finger. Patting that on, you're not going to get it at all with the brush, but I mean, that does look nice. It almost feels like a cream. With the brush, though, I wiped that color off, and I am going to try and use it with this like pearlescent shade in the corner and try this in the inner corner. This one would probably work better since it's not as like glittery. Yeah, that's really pretty actually. That one works really nice with the brush. And it's a really pretty color. Definitely like a pearlescent champagne, which is what I love for the inner portion. That's kind of the eye look I wanted to do with this. I'm actually very impressed with this one. I was a little bit worried because I saw, that's why I didn't use this one, is because I saw a review on this one that wasn't the best but I still need to try this one out so I'll have to update you guys in the comments down below I'll try to try it before then and let you know how this uh, lights off one is the more cool tone smoky one but I would recommend the call me sunshine I think this is really nice and for six bucks really this is good quality the metallics are really pretty the shimmers are pretty we'll definitely see how it wears today as well I also do the face so I am going to go in with a little bit of my Smashbox primer water to have just a very basic base um, that isn't going to judge the fact if the foundation works good or not. So I'm just going to lightly spray this. And then the foundation we're going to use today, this one's new from Revlon. I had to order this one online. I think I ordered it actually, it's almost been a few weeks now, but I ordered it on CVS. I have not seen it at any of my stores yet, but I haven't checked like CVS as of lately. But I've heard that's where it's most likely to be found, but it's not at Walmart, Target, Ulta, 
or Walgreens, at least in my area. I'm so excited to try this. This is the new Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation. So I absolutely used to love Revlon Colorstay. So I was really excited they're kind of making more to this line because that's such an iconic foundation. This one's supposed to be a little bit lighter um, since the original is very full coverage. Um, it's supposed to be a natural finish with SPF 35 in 12 hour wear. So I picked up the shade 150 buff. Hopefully this one will work. I do see that this is available now on Ulta.com for $14.99, so if you guys were wanting it, it is there. It looks like some Walmarts have this as well, so I will link that down below if you want to pick it up. It says you could use it with your fingertips or a brush, and I typically use a brush, so that's what I'm going to do. It is very light in texture, like it feels very watery. The color looks a little light on me. Which is surprising because I didn't even go with the lightest shade, but we'll see how it looks. Maybe it will oxidize. Alright, so that's, that's how it looks. The color is looking a little bit better as I have it everywhere. But yeah, it's definitely, I would say, light to medium coverage because you can still see through different blemishes they have and marks and stuff like that but here is a close-up it's not as matte as the original revlon of course doesn't revlon have an oily skin one and a dry skin one i'm pretty sure they do but this is how my skin looks let me turn the brightness down so you can see a little bit better so now that we have that on let's try out this new wet n wild concealer this was on the display at Walmart with all their new stuff. It's called Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. I got the lightest shade, which is Fair Beige, and I'm excited to try this. I believe this will be available on the Wet n Wild website as well to try if you guys are wanting to pick it up. Otherwise, you can check your local Walmart. I always love getting makeup at Walmart because it's the cheapest there. Because like, I feel like Ulta, Walgreens, and all the drugstores, they raise their prices because they know people usually have coupons or they have buy one, get one. But I usually never have coupons. So I'm, I love finding these things at Walmart because they're always the cheapest. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, ooh, this seems like it will be pretty full. Coverage. We'll do a little under the eye. I'm going to cover my blemishes with this. I should have got a little bit of a darker shade for that, but that's okay. So I'm going to start blending this out. It does have really good coverage. It pretty much covered all of those blemishes. I don't even have to go in with another layer, which is good to have a full coverage concealer when you have more of a light coverage foundation. So now let's try it under the eye. It feels good. Like it doesn't feel dry. It actually feels hydrating. It almost feels like very cooling when I put it on the face. I haven't tried a Wet n Wild like complexion product forever since like the original Photo Focus foundation, which I actually did like that one. And this one doesn't have a weird paint smell or anything like that. It smells normal. I'm going to set that a little bit with some setting powder. I don't have a new one to try, so I'm just using my hourglass because we're not testing this one out. So I feel like I could use some high-end products with this. But I want to use my favorite products so that I know if it's going to work or not. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. I don't have any new brow products to try. It's like the only thing I didn't pick up. I don't know. There hasn't been many good drugstore brow products lately. I pretty much always use the CoverGirl brow pencil. That's always my go-to. But pretty much I've only seen like the brow mascara type things. And I have so many of those already. So I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back. Alright, next we have a new mascara to try from Wet n Wild. It's the Big Papa Mascara. I'm pretty sure this is named after Notorious B.I.G. I I know he has that song and it has the crown on it which I'm pretty sure that was like his logo or something one of his albums so pretty sure that's why they got this idea from um, it says get bigger volume bigger lift bigger thickness bigger impact so 500 plus crimped bristles catch every single lash it says it also has fibers so this looks like it's gonna be pretty good so I haven't I've, I don't know if I've ever tried a wet n wild mascara in my life but this one looks really interesting to me so we're gonna try it out. The packaging is just super thick on this one too, by the way. <laughs> and then here is the brush. It actually looks really cool. So let's go ahead and try this on the eyes. This one actually is very separating. I'm gonna keep building that up. I 
All right, so that's pretty good. I would say, um, I don't know if it's my favorite mascara. I feel like it builds up nice if you guys want to do that, but I don't feel like it makes my lashes super long. It's, it's definitely more of a volumizing formula in my opinion, but I'm kind of picky with mascara. I feel like I love really long lashes and I don't know if this is going to do it for me. Although it's not bad, but it looks pretty decent. It's definitely something I want to come back to um, in a couple weeks and see how it is once it's dried out a bit. I feel like it could be even better. Okay, I'm so excited to try this. This is the new Physicians Formula Bronzer. It's called Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer. I don't know how different this is from the original. I'm actually going to do a haul today and compare them. But yeah, they have this shade and there is one more shade as well. But it looked really warm, so I'm not sure how it's going to look on me. I saw they're coming out with an entire butter collection, but Walmart just had this in the new All-Star Face Palette. But I'm so excited. Oh, it smells different. Interesting. It's more like perfumey than the original. So this is the imprint on the inside. Similar packaging, just different colors. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. The scent is extremely strong on this, by the way. If you are sensitive to smells, you may be a little turned off. The color seems really good. I was afraid it'd be like orange looking on me because it looked really warm, but it actually isn't. It feels like the original. Very soft, easy to blend. So I feel like the formulas are pretty similar. Next, we're going to try out this new Milani cream blush. I have a ton more Milani stuff to try out in another video, but since I already have another cheap product there, I decided we'll go ahead and try these today. I had to buy these online on the Milani website. I don't know if they're in stores yet. They're not in my stores, but I am obsessed with cream blushes, so I had to try the new Cheek Kiss cream blush formula. The shade I'm trying today is called Nude Kiss, and here it is in the packaging. I always like a dual fiber brush for cream. I got quite a bit of product on there. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty pigmented. I like this color a lot, too. It almost reminds me of my Patrick Ta. She's so LA, but a little bit more pinky. So now we're super blushed. <laughs> I like the formula. It was really easy to work with. We'll see how it dries down. It seems like it's drying down to a powder finish, touching it. And it does have a little bit of a glow to it. So yeah, this honestly does remind me a lot of my Patrick Ta cream blush. Obviously, the cream part, since the Patrick Ta also has a powder with it. But, hmm, maybe, maybe a dupe. Let's try out from what and while. Will this be the last product, I think? I think it is. Um, this is the new Cloud Paint. It's a marshmallow lip mousse. They had quite a few different colors. I will say the colors were a bit bright. They didn't really have any super neutral shades, but I guess that's kind of what they're going for for spring. But this is, it says marshmallow lip mousse. It's, I think it was supposed to be like marshmallow extract or something like that in here. Let me see. This is an angelic color and comfort for your lips, a light as cloud, soft matte buildable and blendable formula. So it says as, bouncy marshmallow powder and a sweet marshmallow scent so I picked this pink shade called cloud cheer we'll see how this is oh it smells real good mmm I like it it does smell like marshmallow okay this color is gonna be so bright like I mentioned they really didn't have any good shades to choose from all right so once you kind of blend it out a bit it's like a soft color. I love the smell though. That smell is amazing. It kind of makes me want to get more just for the scent. I'm really into scents, if you guys didn't know. Oh, it's so good. But the color's a little pink for me, but since we did a sheer layer, um, it looks pretty neutral. Not sure if it goes with the eye look, but that's okay. It feels good though. It's very soft. I can feel moisture even though it is a matte finish. Very light on the lips. So I feel like this is going to be good. We'll see how it wears, if it will hold up or not. Very curious about that. But so far, it seems nice. I just wish the color range was better. This is the finished look. I really love how everything is looking. I don't love the lip with this, but that's okay. I want to test these products out today and come back later to give my final thoughts and everything. But 
you guys so far i'm really impressed i feel like drugstore makeup is always getting better and better over time so yeah i'm curious to see what you guys thought first impressions wise but i will see you guys once i've worn this makeup for a good amount of time i'll come back after five or six hours and we'll see how everything is holding up all right so i have worn this makeup now about five hours so i wanted to show you guys how it is looking let me get real close for you so you guys can see everything I feel like my foundation looks okay in person. I tried to take a picture and it looked really dry looking. And it's showing my pores. It's kind of breaking up here on my chin. So I wouldn't say this is the most long wearing for me. I probably prefer the regular Revlon Color Stay. It doesn't make my skin look very good, I will say. And it's hard for foundations to do that because usually I don't have issues because I have such oily skin that usually stuff doesn't look dry on me, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of the texture, also it's breaking up on my nose. I wore my mask for literally maybe a minute running into the post office and it already rubbed my foundation off so it just didn't seem like it was very long wearing to me. I can definitely like kind of powder it with my brush so you guys can see it a bit better but you could see how it just broke up a little bit there but it's, it's probably not my favorite foundation to be honest. The concealer has held up really nicely actually, so I feel like the Wet n Wild concealer is a huge win. As far as the palette goes, you guys can see the creasing right here, and I think that is from the eyeshadow and not from my primer because I feel like it's this cream shadow not settling, but like if I go back and forth with it, it kind of moves back in place, but I think it did crease right there. But overall, I feel like it is a really pretty palette. The quality seemed nice, but yeah, I'm getting a little bit of that creasing, but the shimmer and stuff has lasted on my eyes. I'm not obsessed with the mascara, as I mentioned, so I kind of want to try that out again in a couple weeks and see how it goes. As far as the bronzer goes, that one still looks really nice on the skin, and the cream blush is still there, so I really do like both of those products. I think those were huge wins. Oh, I forgot to mention I changed my lipstick, but I changed my lipstick. I just could not deal with the pink color. I don't like the color that I picked out, and I don't think I'm going to wear it that much unless I'm doing like a bright spring pastel look. So unfortunately, I just need to get a new shade. So I like the formula though. It was pretty long lasting. It dried down to a matte, but it's, it's pretty good. I just need a different shade. So that's pretty much everything I have tried out. I would say my big top favorites is definitely the Physician's Formula Bronzer and the Milani uh, cream blush. I do like the eyeshadow palette, but I don't know if it's going to be like an all-time favorite for me. I do want to test that out a bit more, but those are my thoughts so far on this new drugstore makeup. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products in the comments down below and what you thought, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.